Welcome back to the channel for another episode of the Black Icon series. Today's instalment chronicles the life of Frederick Douglass. Douglass was born in February 1818 as an enslaved person on Home Hill Farm in Talbot County, Maryland, USA. He originally was named Frederick Augustus Bailey. Douglas was owned by Captain Aaron Anthony, who was a superintendent of overseers for a wealthy slave owner and landowner named Edward Lloyd in Maryland. Douglas, like most enslaved children, was separated from his mother at an early age and never knew her. Of her dying when he was seven years of age. When he was about eight years old, Douglas was sent to live with Hugh and Sophia Olds at Fells Point, Baltimore. The two were distant relatives of Douglas's owner. Sophia, even though it was against the law, and deeply taboo, taught Douglas to read until Hugh found out and put a stop to it, apparently saying literacy would spoil a slave. In January 1833, Douglas was leased to a local farmer, Edward Covey, who had a terrible reputation for harsh treatment of his slaves. Inevitably, Covey and Douglas came to blows after six months. Covey attacked Douglas and he fought back in a two-hour struggle, which Douglas won. This incident left him determined never to be a victim of abuse again. In 1838, Douglas escaped from s slavery by dressing as a sailor and travelling to Wilmington, Delaware by train and then on to Philadelphia by steamboat and then on to New York by train. It was during this period that he became one of the best known abolitionists in America, famed for his oratory and anti-slavery literature. Douglas fought ceaselessly against slavery and the narrative that enslaved people were of limited intelligence and would not be able to function as free people in American society. Douglas wrote three autobiographies documenting his life story to enlighten the public to the horrors of slavery in the southern states. These books were bestsellers and furthered the abolitionist cause immensely. Douglas paved the way for the great black orators and civil rights leaders that were to follow him, such as Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Hugh and Eaton, and many others. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.